Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, we are gonna be looking at another SBC card, which is gonna be the Golazo Hero Rafael Marquez. So we are gonna be doing a little player review on this guy. We're gonna be collecting him, putting him in our squad, and we'll try him out in one of one or two squad battles and see how he actually is in game. Uh, so yeah, without any further ado, let's get into this uh, player review. Now, first thing you guys see is the three star skill move and four star weak foot now i don't really care about skill move so if you guys are like me then i don't think you'll be bothered about three star skill move but four star weak foot is actually pretty good and he his preferred foot is right so he'll have four star weak foot when which is his left foot he'll be able to kick the ball pretty well 88 shooting with four star weak foot is actually not bad and now going to the second part which is alternate positions and all that stuff so his main preferred position is cdm he'll be able to play him at center mid and center back as well which is also really good and he is a la liga crazy legend so yeah he has played for Barcelona a huge number yeah look at that he has played uh 242 games for barcelona that is mental you know now going on to his stats his stats look really nice so many 80s and 90s over here you can see basically a hullet gang kind of player uh so yeah he has 83 pace which is not uh bad for a center back or a cdm player and even if you use him at center mid he'll be able to have some decent pace on him especially with 88 shooting guys a center back or a cdm with 88 shooting is insane and if you put him at center mid look at his shot per 99 shot per and 99 long shot put him in cdm he'll be, i mean cm or cdm he'll be really good you can easily take shots with him and i'm pretty sure you wouldn't miss that much and he has 93 penalties as well something you guys might have to look on to uh, and his passing is 82 not bad he has 87 short pass and 91 long pass he has 80 uh, 93 reaction under dribbling he has 92 composure he has 86 ball control we are going to be testing ball control we are going to be testing short par we are going to be testing passing pace uh, uh if we can we'll test heading accuracy but i don't think it will be possible but yeah we'll test most of these things out and under defending defending 92 defending and 91 physical guys which is really really impressive he has 91 stand tackle 93 slight tackle 93 defensive awareness and he has 92 uh jumping with 87 stamina and his heading accuracy is 90 so this card uh, is a very well-rounded card i would say for a you can play him at cdm you can play him at center back and center mid three main positions for any team guys it is actually pretty insane that you can play him at center back and center midfield and in between which is cdm which is actually really really nice now i am curious to put him in the squad and uh, you know see actually how he's going to be playing he has uh play style plus yes dead ball plus yes scoring play style plus that's actually pretty mad you know and he has uh anticipate plus which so significantly improves chance of standing tackle success and grants the ability to stop the ball directly at their feet while performing a stand tackle okay hopefully we'll be able to test that out as well so without any further ado let's get this card so you need to complete four different squads to complete this guy and get this uh, SBC card guys so the first one is an 85 rated squad with an FC Barcelona player in the second one is a La Liga player and an 86 rated squad the third one is a team of the week player and an 87 rated squad the final one is a team of the week player with an 88 rated squad so if you finish these four squads you'll be able to get this card rafael marquez card uh i think this card is actually pretty insane not gonna lie so yeah let me just complete the squad build and we'll put him in the squad and see how he actually is in the game okay this is the squad we're gonna be putting in we had a lot all i think i put in all my 88 rated players all my 88 rated players that i've been saving i put them in so that is actually something insane you know i don't usually put my higher rated players unless i think some card is worth it i love this card animation for some reason you, ignore the walkout animation i mean walkout animation is good as well but the card design guys i don't know why that this is one reason why i'm not doing that golazo hero evolution it does give a huge boost to your players but 
I just don't want to, you know, get rid of this weird looking. This is too good. I just, it's so subtle as well. It's a weird color. That color, that is not red. That is some cherry kind of red color. And it is very weird. And so, for some reason, I, I, I actually like that color. Now we have got some players. Now you guys would have seen what we got in yesterday's pack opening. Now if you guys haven't watched the pack opening till the end, make sure you guys go check out the pack opening, guys, because it is massive. It is massive. Make sure you guys don't uh, skip in midway because okay. Let us put in Marquez. Uh, I am not going to be adding any chemistry style to him. We'll just. Uh, uh, basically what I'm going to be doing is putting him at center, mid and then CDM. These two positions will be playing him at and we'll see how he, he, he is, you know, in those two positions. Basically that is what we're going to be doing in this video. We'll play, we'll start off with the preferred position and then we'll work our way to the alternate positions. And here's how the lineup looks for Fox. He has good pairs, you know, for somebody who, who has on on paper only 83 you know he actually has a good pace i want to try out uh, his short part so far as a cdm he's actually been decent he has decent ball control he has good short part it's actually pretty nice that he has good short part uh, I'm trying to find where Marcus is. Marcus is literally stuck to his position. I just want to see how his stand tackle is since he has uh, anticipate plus as his play style. All I've been doing with Marcus is get the ball, run through their midfield with ease because. He has really good pace, guys. It doesn't feel like he has 83 pace, you know. And his dribbling is actually pretty good. See, this is what happens. I take the ball with him and he ends up staying on top. He is coming back. He is falling back to his position pretty well. He has a good bit of pass on him as well. He has good... His stand tackle is actually not bad. I mean, I won't know until, you know, he's, until I use him properly. But so far, I definitely would say this SPC is not bad. Now, I'm pretty sure many of you guys might be thinking whether, whether it's worth it or not, considering you have to put in four high red squad builds. So, in that aspect, I don't think it is really that worth it. Looking at it, you know, in that aspect, because you have to put an 85, 86, 87 and an 88 rated squad build to get a 90 rated CDM. But if you go past that, I feel like this is a really good card. He has good pace. He has good shooting. He has good passing. He has really good defending. He has a good defending uh, playstyle plus. He has good shooting playstyle plus. Dead ball plus is actually pretty insane. Especially him having 99 short power and 99 long shot. I think that is really good. He has good stand tackle guys. I don't know how what more to do with him. We haven't tested his uh, short part really. Look at that. I'm able to dribble pass with so much ease. This is actually not bad. And that short part is good. Finishing is not that good. Short part is actually good. The shot that came out of the left foot is actually not bad. Okay, I think this card is actually not bad. Uh, I, I wouldn't use him at center midfield position. He's been, he's not been that great. Uh, he's able to dribble past people. I am, I'm, I'm not very, uh, you know, I'm not very sad about that. He's able to dribble past people very well. He has good passing. He has really good defending. Uh, his shot power is really good if you're able to, you know, aim and take the shot off, off his feet. I've not tried uh, with his right foot, which is his preferred foot. Uh, because you know the way I play I don't really you know, get to shoot a lot with my uh, CDMs or my center midfields I usually use my number 10 and my forwards to get my goals off I would say this SBC is really good unless you guys have see even even Casemiro is a really good player guys 
if you are able to use some evolution on Casemiro, you'll be able to uh, get him to a 91-92 rated card, which is actually not bad as well. And he is really good as well, Casemiro. So yeah, it is what it is. If you guys want to get a good uh, iconic player, a good hero for Golazo, this is a good player. As a player review, it is really really good player. He is he is really insane. As an SBC review, I don't know if it's worth how much money or how many coins you're gonna be putting for him in in context to players but yeah as a player he's really good i would suggest you guys go, go ahead and do this spc if you have enough players but yeah i'll see you guys in the next one other than take care stay safe stay motivated and keep smiling bye bye